Crafting a Sensational Argument for Your Research Paper, Dr. Laura Hill's Eight-Step Method. This lecture is presented by Dr. Laura Hills, Professor of English at Virginia International University. Your professor has just assigned a research paper and wants you to choose your own topic. This is what many college students are likely to do. On the other hand, some students may respond in a slightly different way. <laughs> and then, of course, there will be those few college students who know exactly what to do. Do you think this might be how you would respond? If so, congratulations! You're well on your way to crafting a sensational argument for your research paper. Step one, panic. Next, you may wonder, why doesn't my professor just give me a topic or a choice of topics? Why do I have to come up with a research topic of my own? Why me? Do you want to know the answer to these excellent questions? It's because your professor is a genius. Your professor knows that choosing your own topic has many advantages. You can pick a subject for study that you actually like. You will learn a lot in the process of coming up with your own topic. And choosing your own topic will make you more passionate about your work. So now that you understand why you need to come up with your own topic, you're ready to take your next step. Step two, understand what an argument for a research paper is. Many students don't realize that a college level research paper needs an argument, but it does. So what's an argument? An argument is one clearly defined point an opinion that is your own, a point of view you can defend with research and source material, a topic that is not obvious and that has not been done to death. Some students confuse an argument for a research paper with other kinds of paper topics. Yay! But there's a big difference. An argument is not a report, a summary, a chance to show everything you know about your topic. An argument is simply the stand you take in your research paper. It is the single position you will take and defend throughout your paper. When choosing your argument, you must be brave, be bold, be clear, and be willing to stick out your neck. Argue about something you truly care about, a point of view that intrigues you perhaps one that's even a little risky. How do you accomplish all of this? Step three, begin with a broad subject area that truly interests you. Don't worry about the argument right away. That will come later. Start by identifying a large subject area that might seem interesting to you. Perhaps you read something in your course readings, in your own readings, wow. or maybe something caught your interest in class discussions. Got a subject area that interests you? That's great, but you still need to do some work to craft your argument. Step four. Research your subject. Before you can craft your argument, you will need to know more about your subject. You will need to get the lay of the land. See what kind of research is available on your topic. Go to the library and see what relevant books, journals, videos, and other resources relate to your topic. Spend time in the book stacks. See what titles on your subject fill the shelves. 
check out your library's electronic resources such as databases and online journals. Surf the Internet. If you need more direction, talk to your librarian or your professor. They may be able to guide you to some great resources. Spend time looking for information on your topic. Be patient. Don't rush this step. Cast your research, research net wide and see what you can catch. And then, step five, identify an interesting scholarly conversation about your topic. Find in your research an area where scholars already have interesting things to say. Look for an area where scholars have opinions, where they disagree, where they're having a conversation. How do you feel about this conversation? Does one opinion seem better to you than the others? Have the scholars neglected to look at something important? Do you believe that one or more of the scholars is wrong? What's your opinion? Step six, enter the scholarly conversation. Your research paper is your chance to air your own ideas on your topic. It is your personal soapbox from which you may speak. Any one of you lily livered, bow legged varmints care to slap leather with me? Everyone's listening. What would you like to say? Can you back up your opinions with your research? Yes? Then, congratulations, you have an argument. Do you know if it's a good argument? Step seven, choose one idea to argue that fits your page assignment. How long is your research paper supposed to be? Four to six pages? Eight to twelve pages? Fifteen to twenty pages? More than twenty pages? You must be able to state your argument and support it in the number of pages that you were assigned. Therefore, be sure you can support your argument with lots of good research. The best research papers argue narrow points, but support them thoroughly. They state one idea clearly, and then beat it to death with research, research, research. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, no. Anticipate all the possible objections to your argument and head them off. Use multiple research sources to build an ironclad case for your argument. Leave no doubt that your argument is valid. If you can do this, you will have crafted a sensational argument for your research paper. Remember, without a sensational argument, you cannot write a sensational research paper. But with a sensational argument, there is no stopping you. So let's do a quick review of the eight steps to crafting a sensational argument for your research paper. Step one, panic. Step two, Understand what an argument for a research paper is. Hey. Step three, begin with a broad subject area that truly interests you. Wow. Step four, research your subject. Step five, identify an interesting scholarly conversation about your topic. <laughs> Step six, 
Step six, enter the scholarly conversation. Any one of you lily-livered, bow-legged varmints care to slap leather on me? Step seven, choose one idea to argue that fits your page assignment. Step 8. Be sure you can support your argument with lots of good research. And if you do all of this, you will craft a sensational argument for your research paper, you will write a better research paper, you will get a better grade, and you will learn to think more clearly, making the world a better place. The end.